We're starting this one off mid conversation. Uh, Will Will Big Dick Will Menneker's back? Yeah, uh, big thick dick. Yeah, wide <laughs> wide Bill. dick. That's thick the alliteration. Dick Billy. It's the girth. Thick that, dick. Yeah, uh, Bill. counts. Well, should you go rhyming or alliteration? Should it be wide dick Will or? <laughs> it's Billy. It's Billy. Yeah. yeah, big thick dick Bill. All right, Billy. Well, wide dick Billy, dude. We wide. we got into a conversation. I was telling Will we were watching uh, one of the holodeck episodes oh, yeah. of Star Trek Next Generation last night with my sexy ass little that Greek. That Greek woman with the nice juicy She's in tits. every episode. He's, Mar- he's, Martina Sirtris? Yeah. 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 Counselor yeah. Troy, you yeah. Hell yeah, dude. He was not familiar with Counselor Troy. <laughs> no, oh, dude. I've missed a lot of that. Well, she, she is, you know, uh, she's the empath, so yeah. she gets to dress sexy and just yeah. be like a therapist for well, everyone. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I love is her character was created to explain empathy to the fucking autistic morons <laughs> that watch Star Trek. <laughs> They're like, what do you mean caring about other people? They're like, well, she's an alien. They're like, oh, I guess that she makes sense. She has an alien ability to discern people's moods and emotions <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Based on- <laughs> right. they had to create an other world character to explain and that and she had to have juicy ass titties for them to pay attention to well that's yeah. what she used to well, feel their emotions every, every Star Trek iteration has like the, the sexy woman sure and uh, and they fucked up we, I think we mentioned this on the show before but when they did Voyager they were like we're not gonna do that this time we have a female captain Torres is like kinda hot but in like a spicy Latina way yeah mm-hmm. she's the, the spice. she's like the fucking hoop ear Klingon. <laughs> uh, she's half Klingon on Voyager. She's half Klingon. She's full Klingon would that be like right. that's too much. Well, that's yeah. how, well, that's yeah. her name is. I Kalani. always thought she was more like oh Torres. She's half Puerto Rican, half Klingon. Which Jesus <laughs> oh, Christ, boy. You know what? Honestly, I think that might be real. I think there's women like that in the Bronx that are <laughs> yeah. legitimately half Klingon. And half those Puerto fucked Rican. up foreheads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do honor killings. Uh, I got a piece of warp drive. I don't have time for these. <laughs> no, but uh, then, then the ratings are down. So then they just invented out yep. a whole cloth. The uh, the sexy robot, yep, the Borg, yep, the sexy yeah. Borg, uh, seven Jerry nine, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've talked about to her, add her too. On, she's like so the, hot. Which then she's insanely hot because she did so well for Voyager. They added her onto other shows on UPN. They had Jerry a guest Ryan? starring episode with Jerry Ryan on Sentinel. She was on Boston Public too. She, she was, was on Boston on, Public, but that was Fox. She was on the Wayne's Brothers show. Yeah, they would add Jerry Ryan <laughs> to other shows. Uh, Slight digression: The actress uh, Jerry Ryan was married to the congressman. She was married to a Republican congressman from Illinois, I think, who took her and, to sex clubs. Yes, <laughs> yes, they got divorced because he took her to uh, like some sort of uh, sex club in Paris and like made her. Do things yeah. I was oh, uncomfortable God with. Damn, yeah. that sucks, <laughs> Jerry. Ne- Jerry, if you're listening, I know you are. I'd never treat you that yeah. way. Well, She's I, probably so fine right I love, now. dude, that the way they stereotype the sexless Asian Ensign Kim into being like <laughs> falling over his dick for the robot character <laughs> in but, that show. Um, but Didn't again, you troll him on Twitter once? I did. Yeah, I got into a big argument with uh, Garrett Wang, the guy that plays Ensign Kim. <laughs> Uh, what because i was explaining to him uh i was like well uh you know i was like i asked him i was like is space china different than regular china (laughs) and he was like what do you mean i'm like in the star trek universe (laughs) space china that ensign kim comes from (laughs) and he like god added me and he's like uh ensign kim is korean and i was like he most certainly is not. <laughs> I know for a fact that Ensign Kim is not a Korean character. Kim is a Korean name, but that's because the writers didn't give a shit and they just <laughs> named the Chinese guy Kim. And he was like, Kim is a, you know, a Korean surname. And I was like, again, the character's not. And then I went through YouTube and I actually found a video of Garrett Wang at a, like a Star Trek convention panel explaining that Ensign Kim is Chinese <laughs> and that the writers gave him the wrong name. And I was like, yeah, well, here's you fucking Damn, saying it. That is such and a he good was dunk. Like, he was like... What's your problem, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, he's right. What he is, is right. your problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who fucking who does all that research to troll Ensign Kim or whatever uh, his name is? I just is. happen to know that about Garrett show. Wang. Garrett Wang. Wang. Yeah. Fucking research. Which, by the way, Garrett Wang, yeah. hilarious name. Yeah. No, I used to ask him about Gates McFadden and if she was like okay because her Twitter is pretty fucking crazy. She has a she has a doll of herself as like Doctor Crusher. Crusher that she, play, that she plays with. Crusher could get it too. It's She's so fired. Bizarre. Yeah, it's like, she well, was. The yeah. original uh, uh, hook for this was how uh, Star Trek, the, the writers of basically every, every one of the Star Trek series, like wrung so much out of the holodeck conceit yeah, yeah, and then like at least every season there would be one all holodeck episode that yeah. will yeah. always 
miserable. Yeah. Just terrible in well, every yeah, way. Yeah. They got this because they got lazy about writing space shit, so they were like, ah, fuck it, let's just write Maltese Falcon. Yeah. Right. Oh, the exit button got broken. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. And you know what? It's lazy writing because all of the characters are these like god characters, mm -hmm. where it doesn't matter how the story progresses because they always know they can leave the holodeck. Right. So mm -hmm. they present like uh, you know the conceit of this one was that there's some you know like a jade monkey or whatever that this mob boss needs, and Picard is like the private eye that has uh -huh. access to it. But they never have to address any part of that story because Picard's like, they think I have something they need. Isn't that <laughs> yeah. funny? Well, there, yeah. was, uh, there was ones where <laughs> right. uh, they're laughing when the guy gets shot. Oh, yeah. Which, funny. by the way, they go, uh, we brought along our fiction officer. And it's like, <laughs> so that guy's just going to be dead at the end of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> You're never going to see him again. Well, there was one where, uh, where Data kept doing uh, holodeck scenarios where he would play as uh, like Sherlock Holmes or something. Mm -hmm. And again, this is sort of like a shout out to the show's fan base of like, you know, using games to teach you about literature and yeah. real <laughs> human life. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like, it was like some conceit, the conceit of that episode is that like, again, they get stuck in the holodeck and they go through some sort of, uh, cosmic radiation and it makes the Moriarty character self-aware and uh, deadly and like yeah, can yeah, actually yeah. kill you in the holodeck yeah Ooh. and again just like don't have a holodeck yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah no the only time it was actually useful I think was like in, on Voyager with the Tuvok Pon Far episode where you like you know the Vulcans they have to fuck they can only fuck every seven years but they have to fuck or they die or they just go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Just go insane they go like, crazy. yeah they just go fucking crazy um, like that's and, me yeah so is like, that like seven years nut just builds up in their brain. Their balls must be so heavy on yeah. like de uh, year six. Wait, wait. Day. t -Bot was the black yeah. Vulcan? So Vulcans are, yeah. Vulcans are no fap. Uh, uh, you know, save it till marriage. Gorilla mindset. They're autists They're, for yeah, sure. The gorilla mindset guys. But then they have <laughs> very this logical in, you know, breaking point of seven years because you can't, you know, uh, uh, be no fap that long. So, but in Voyager, the the idea behind the show is that they get trapped in the Delta Quadrant. So they're so far away from anyone they've ever seen before. And so they hit the seven-year mark, and there's no one for Tuvok to fuck, so they have to just let him fuck in the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I love, I love, I always like, because, you know, I mean, it's a room that, it's a hologram, right? Mm -hmm. And then they have enough ability to uh, manipulate the physics of the hologram so that you can touch the have hologram. Texture and, texture uh, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, but hell anything yeah. that's hell produced yeah, in, the, in the hologram isn't made out of whatever substrate material that the hologram creates. So if you're, it, I'm all I'm saying is there's got to be just buckets of cum on the floor <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, hologram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The floors are caked. Uh, over. Yeah, like there's there's some like you know uh, Starfleet ensign, like the Will Wheaton character. Yeah. Like part of his duty would be actually just like mopping down, yeah. the <laughs> like fucking Travis Bickle's cab. Right. Well, Will Wheaton's I, such a perfect good boy on the show that he actually lives solely off cum. He's a 100% <laughs> celestial being. He's a goody good boy. In touch with the universe. Now, the, uh, I, I like the idea that. Uh, there's some kind of video feed without the hologram, so you just see the guy fucking in space, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. air. <laughs> you just see like his dick <laughs> fucking pumping, and there's yeah. no pussy around it. Yeah. You just see that's. I want to see that shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, I want to yeah. see the feed, the uncut yeah. feed without the holograms. Yeah, just wearing a Sherlock Holmes outfit. <laughs> yeah, he's got, yeah, he's still in costume with his dick out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, um, and I love too that the, the the dumb shit that they're obsessed with in the the holodeck is always things that baby boomers like yeah like right. the idea that in the year 2630 that somebody's the, uh, Tom Paris on Voyager he's always working on a Camaro <laughs> yeah. like a 1970 Camaro and then fucking that's sort of like the equivalent of nowadays like hobbyists build their own trebuchet yeah right, right. Exactly. Exactly. manuscript yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 15th century right. no but not only like being interested in it as a part of history but because he's like he's like this thing man it's got fucking 240 uh, 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 horsepower at the wheels and it's, it's like, like you're, it's like you're literally you're traveling space. faster than light <laughs> yeah, yeah, to a right. different yeah. galaxy. Yeah, yeah. You're getting moon pussy <laughs> left and right, my man. <laughs> you care about fucking yeah. yeah. horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, uh, uh, the the one iteration of uh, Star Trek that I thought um, sort of uh, 
did the most or at least um, acknowledged that the, the, the holodecks would mainly be used for pornography and just jacking <laughs> off is uh, Deep Space Nine. Yeah, Deep Space Nine is the only good Star Trek. Th- that's my favorite uh, a series, uh, but uh, like like Cork's Bar, he's always like renting out the holodeck, but it's yeah. clear that he's just like a sleazy like yeah, flesh yeah. monger. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. the Frangies are Jewish. Yeah. So like, <laughs> yeah. It took them a while to just be like, ah, let's just do a Jewish character. <laughs> and then they went all out. <laughs> like the nose would be too obvious. So, so give them giant ears. ears yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck! Any anything can be had for a price. Yeah. Gold yeah. press latinum. Yeah. They're so ghoulish. Oh yeah. yeah, they were into coins and stuff. They loved yeah. gold coins. Yeah. Yeah. They were, no, yeah. Seriously, no, they, they really they were obsessed with gold Gilt? coins. Yeah. 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 yeah, they play. You, you do a spin and the spinning the, top game to win the gold coins. The sexy girl on DS9 was like pretty. Dax was like pretty moderate. And she was probably the hottest of all the Star Trek women. Dax? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And the captain Dax. was Obama. Yeah, the captain mm-hmm. was Obama, and who who was old friends with Dax, so they had this weird homosexual relationship. Well, the, the conceit with Dax is that she is like a, a hybrid of a like... Symbian. A symbiote. Yeah. Like, like, she like looks like basically like a human woman with some like freckles on the side, yeah, but... Yeah. Her body is host to this like alien worm that contains the memories of all of her all of its past hosts yeah. so she's like a, oh, an amalgam of like 10 yeah. or 12 different people's life experiences and cisco was boys with whoever that worm infected like <laughs> oh shit so this basically dax is a woman that got herpes from cisco's friend <laughs> and he's like good to see you old man yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he calls her old man all the time yeah yeah, yeah. Old man does that mean she knows how to fuck so good she knows yeah, how to fuck like 10 she's, yeah exactly dick, she's had so like she knows how to suck one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys know what guys like. Yeah. You know? That's why Dude's it's called nine. Deep Space Nine. Yeah, oh yeah. Dick's back nine. walls nine. Yeah. <laughs> we said yeah, all the way. Walls in. nine. <laughs> oh fuck. We said we definitely said Dick Suck Nine the first time we talked about <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. DS Nine. Um, What's a good show? I was like, uh, I, I didn't know that uh, Odo. I found out recently because I don't remember seeing it on the show that he just sleeps in a bucket. Yeah. He just turns back into like a bucket of cum. And yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Hell yeah, which dude. is so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend's watching some fucking show that's like horny Harry Potter right now. Some uh-huh. show called The Magicians. Okay, hell yeah. Dude. And I've been like in it because I don't give a shit about any of that. But it's like <laughs> you know, it's fucking. They're like, it's some fucking kid with his stupid emo haircut. And then he finds out he's a wizard for real, you know. Yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just stole. From yeah, I know. <laughs> you right. know, but he's like nineteen or whatever. He's got an emo haircut and a messenger bag and like a fucking colorful tie, you know, like a. Uh, he a, rides a longboard to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, I guess I like I, I caught an episode she was watching the other day, and she's like, "Well, now they're in the magical world from the books." And it's like, I, okay, I guess this is it's very similar to Harry Potter. They're all the same thing, but then they visit this like. Goat character, this homosexual goat character, <laughs> like a pan a, figure, a pan figure that's supposed to be a god that created this magic world, and I'm like half paying attention, and it, he hands a cup of his cum. What to the the magicians? I'm like, is that what the f- is that just his cum? She's like, yeah. She's like, it, it like makes sense in the story. What? Like, oh, <laughs> Do they all just like, have to take have a sip to... or something? <laughs> they give it to the fucking girl who's supposed to be the hero, and she has to drink his cum. What? Yeah. It's literally his cum. It's like, he beats like, off dude, into a cup. Dude, they fucking had the props department create a jar of cum. It looks like cum? Says, yes, it looks like cum, and she has to drink <laughs> the jar of cum. <laughs> but it's, ma- it's, it's magic, so it tastes like frosting. Yeah. yeah. And it's, well, it's, yeah, it's like supposed That's to be like Buffy the Vampire like. Slayer, right, but there's right. a cum drinking element. Which I guess you were supposed to assume that British scientist that was helping Buffy was doing anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was sneaking yeah. his cum in, oh, yeah. like that dentist. That one dentist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to answer the phone. I was busy reading about a demon from <laughs> yeah. 500 years ago. The, uh, uh, you apply this fan? to your skin. No, actually, uh, I never got into Buffy. I, I really don't give a shit about Joss Whedon at all. Yeah, I, me neither. I, 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 I never watched it. Uh, yeah. But I wasn't really into Buffy. 
but the, that guy Angel, the woman he fucked, David Charisma Boreanaz. David Boreanaz is Angel. Yeah, yeah. but he his girlfriend. I call him David Boring Anus. Hey, hey. hey. got a boring ass. <laughs> yeah. Look yeah. at it. It got no wrinkles. Um, Looks like a little Cheerio. <laughs> That's kind of a cute ass. Yeah. That doesn't sound boring at all, honestly. You can have, you can have some fun with that ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, Charisma Carpenter, who played someone in that shit. Oh boy, did I beat off to her! <laughs> Big motherfucking in time. Angle? She was unbelievable. Well, I Allison g- uh, Hennigan became hot from uh, American Pie because yes. for some reason everyone interpreted that oh, in the real life girl? she put a flute in her pussy, yeah. Yeah. which <laughs> does not make you hot. I don't know. <laughs> no, it makes you weird. It yeah, makes yeah. you weird as shit. I don't know. I think Nor- that's pretty cool. Would I imagine that that's very pleasurable? No, it's all knobby like, and it's shit. Just, like it's all fucking like yeah, it's, it's this cold piece of metal that's like thin and covered yeah, in. Go buttons. to Spencer's, <laughs> get a dildo. <laughs> yeah, They're right. all over the place. <laughs> be, like maybe you suck a foot in your asshole. Maybe that would like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, be a little yeah. bit tight. You know? How did it feel? Well, I Adam, just love that Jason you you know, character in that movie is like. Wait, you have a p p p p p pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that movie sucks. That movie does. Also, Very just, bad. What, what's the... Because, yeah, he tries to fuck the hot girl, but he comes too quick. Yeah. Or he can't yeah. get hard. What is it? He, well, no, he, he, he just comes in like immediately. He comes in his That's pants. That's a win, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. That's sex. He fucked her. He comes yes. in his pants uh, on, on Skype in front of his whole school. Which, First of all, that technology did not exist back yeah, then. Yeah, it it definitely... barely works now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, he's video conferencing with the entire school. Also, why would you ever do that? You're about to fuck for the first yeah. time? Well, that's like a, a Return of Kings thing. They say you should videotape all your sexual encounters. What? In case a woman accuses you of rape. Oh, so like, in, in case a woman, just to prevent a woman from falsely accusing you of rape, you should, just videotape her without your yeah, consent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you I just love the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sexless men with fucking 19 security cameras all pointing at their bed in their mom's apartment. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they're like, uh, the mom's like, oh, Richard, why is the electricity bill so high this month? It's like, mom, leave my cameras alone. Yeah. I remember when to protect I, the both I, of I, us. I, I, only, I only fuck in a panic room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, make, uh, I make the woman sign a, a charter written in cursive and sealed with blood <laughs> with wax at the end. Um, I remember one time I was looking for weed in my college... It was like one of those terrible college houses that every, you know, just eight people lived in. It was just, yeah. you go in and out or whatever. I just barged into my friend's room and I just found, uh, I was looking for weed on his desk and shit. And I like, he had like one of those books, like a hollow book. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a fucking video camera pointing to his fucking bed. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> this guy definitely, it was like one of those, like, like, you know, uh, when they, Record a babysitter without their knowledge. Like, yeah, this guy nanny was, cam. Yeah, I, this guy was. I would definitely. never want to watch myself fuck. God no. Oh, yeah, it's oh God no. I would love to. I would love to see what I got in the mix. You Not know? you have nothing. <laughs> Dude, I got <laughs> I got nice moves. You would videotape it, and it would you would never get hard again. <laughs> Dude, first as of all, as soon as you saw the lack of movement, just your fucking fat ass. I fuck with heart. Undimpling. I have a beautiful ass. Number one. For especially for a fat man, but I think I would surprise you with the tenacity with which I fuck the heart. You know, I'm a scrapper. I know I'm not fucking. I'm You've not, got coachability. I've got coach. I definitely have coachability. <laughs> I'll do whatever no, needs this to get is, done. You look like I, your thighs are trying to give your stomach the Heimlich maneuver, <laughs> dude. My that's thighs what it would look more, like from behind. Look at this shit, dude. Look at these muscles, dude. I don't know if that's muscle. You play back the oh, video, and this. then it would be like computer feel enhance, yeah. and then like you'd see the woman checking her phone or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Adam, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it'd be like she's this. just rolling Computer her eyes. Computer enhance. Oh, unenhance, unenhance. <laughs> De-enhance image. <laughs> Computer uh, totally but, uh, You can see her like, texting her friends. Adam, like, I, I think it's the same uh, to what I, Adam, I've talked to you about our one of our favorite Instagram guys. What is it? The Nick420 California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the guy who likes awesome. Nick Weed. Yeah. Nick Weed, yeah. The guy who just like literally <laughs> does an Instagram video of him like smoking weed yeah. every fucking day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I wouldn't, like, it's the same thing. Like, yeah. if you showed me video, like, like of every time I did drugs, uh, I would yeah. like kill myself or go oh, straight yeah. to rehab. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> dude. I remember. I remember me and my friend started skateboarding when we were like fucking like eleven or twelve, and then my friend got like a video camera and was like, "Yo, we go. Oh, let's, let's do fucking, jackass. Let's, skate let's, video. Shoot, let's shoot ourselves skateboarding." And it's like, I'm gonna go home. Yeah. <laughs> so no. just fucking like how the lack of coordination, ollies. Yeah. yeah. The fact that you can like ollie down three stairs. Yeah. yeah. I can <laughs> ollie onto a curb. Like, right. right. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> not you just falling down stairs with a piece of wood underneath you. <laughs> I, I that's exactly what happened to me. I was I was playing basketball in like 
I was like part of the Greek Orthodox Youth of America Basketball League. Do you play on carpet court? <laughs> yeah, we yeah, it, literally in, in the uh, in my gym at the fucking church. It was like bullshit carpet, but I was at this fucking tournament and I I stuffed some kid. And I was like, oh, my God, I fucking... And my mom just happened to be there with a fucking video camera. I was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. I just imagined myself, like, fucking getting four feet off the ground and just, like, spiking it in this fucking kid's face. And it was a little... Like, I, I, was, I was a centimeter off the ground. Yeah, yeah. The kid was, like, 5'3". You know, there was, yeah, like, yeah. nothing impressive about it whatsoever. Yeah. It, maybe you guys are onto something. If I watch myself fuck, it would probably be... It would be so it terrible. terrible. Yeah, I that. mean, I do a bit about watching myself eat pussy. It's the absolute worst thing in the entire world. <laughs> um, I'd because like to I'm, watch myself eat pussy. No, like, it's I'm not watching fun. How, how did you? How did you accomplish that? Because, well, I was filming her going down on me, and then I started going down on her, and I couldn't. I didn't have like the dexterity to film and eat pussy. You didn't have, <laughs> so what did she, she gave took, her the camera? So she took the camera, and then I just watched myself just like so emotionally eating a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> just like there was so much earnestness and like love in the way that I was eating her pussy, and it was just like to see myself that vulnerable. I, really from that was, perspective, it probably looked like you're you were nuzzling your face into Dan Hidea's back. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> when I, do, I look like a fucking like a bored secretary pinching a phone in between their cheek and their shoulder. <laughs> I got, no, sir, we're out of stock. <laughs> no, but, uh, they won't be in stock. I don't know when they're going to be back in stock, sir. Do, but that's because you. You don't enjoy fucking, dude. Yeah, I don't enjoy anything, though. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I mean. You have no joy in that's your life. That's true. That's why. I think I would... That's you know, the part medical of... term for that is being really fucking cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> being too cool it's for It's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, stop. Back to your friend who was uh, uh, surreptitiously, vi I assume, videotaping himself yeah, having yeah, sex yeah. with women, uh, you know, uh, which is a crime. Totally. No, I but, don't like that guy at all. I was trying to steal yeah. his weed. For um, the record, he but was like barely the, a friend. The sort of obsession with uh, guys uh, is, fil is filming that, themselves. Is that a crime? Yeah, I for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. To record because, someone well, without their permission? Well, you can do it in public. Because it's it's like an expectation of privacy. Like if you go outside and just start taping somebody on the street, that's yeah. illegal. Maybe I think yeah. basically filming you have sex having sex with a woman without her consent is yeah. basically assault. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Also, there's. Well, no I'm saying, it's, I'm saying I, I believe it's fucked up to do yeah. that. I don't know if it's illegal or not. Though. I think it's I'm illegal, pretty sure it is. Sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the obsession with like uh, guys who are obsessed with like recording themselves having sex, and I'm wondering if you guys have. Seen one of my favorite films uh, of all time, Autofocus. Oh uh, yeah, the, uh, the sure. Bob Crane story. I've seen it. Yeah, Dude, it's, it's okay. It's directed by Paul Schrader, and it stars Greg Kinnear and Willem Hell Dafoe. Yes. Hell yes! In a hundred percent true story of the life and times of Hogan's Heroes star Bob Crane oh, and his descent yes. into sex addicted madness <laughs> yes. and like swinging and and like this is at the very dawn of like videotape technology and right. shit, and he just became like obsessed with filming himself and like recording really? and photographing himself having sex Holy with like hundreds shit. of different women in this weird like homoerotic codependent relationship with this guy yep. who is his best friend who eventually really? killed now, him. You, Holy like, spoiler fuck. Alert. You yeah. say that shit and it's like, I kind of want that for myself. <laughs> really? A, yeah. a homosexual uh, codependent uh, uh, relationship? A weird borderline homosexual relationship <laughs> uh, <laughs> with an additional heterosexual de Component, deviancy yeah. element to it. Yeah, <laughs> Where it's all just convoluted and the emotions are... You know, questionable. <laughs> My, the, best the morality is as well. <laughs> That's what I want for myself. I also I kind of like the idea of the other person murdering me. <laughs> <laughs> the best scene in the movie, though, is that they're like reliving their exploits or whatever, and they're like watching it like on his TV through like some ancient video camera, and they're just like, you know, fucking a bunch of women, and they're just like bodies everywhere, and like, and then like this is sort of early on in the relationship of them doing this shit. And uh, Greg Kinnear, the Bob Crane character, is like, wait, wait, what the f What's that? Wait, wait, Paul, stop, stop, stop. Set the tape for a second. And he just, who's, whose finger is that in my ass? And then, uh... and then the Willem Dafoe character goes, uh, that was me. And he goes, what the fuck, man? And he just goes, Bob, Bob. It was a group grope. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking group grope. Yeah, that's the uh, Womanicker movie recommendation for this episode. That's so it's, uh, good. Autofocus, directed by Paul Schrader. Did, well, did, did I they did. ever fuck? Him, the gay... Was that, was that, was that no, his gay No, no, but like, it, yeah, like they would just Willem like... Willem Dafoe wanted to fuck him, though. Yeah, definitely, and they would just like jack off watching each other fuck other people nice. like on video and stuff. So, you know. 
Hell Again, yeah, it's dude. all it's all a gray area. It's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, it's better if it's subtext. Yeah. Have you seen John Wick two yet? I have. You, is it good? Yeah, it bangs, dude. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, I want to see it, dude. It's a. It's, it was a very satisfying sequel. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Do you Can't feel like because you have the dog, you appreciate it more, dude? I before I watched uh, the, I, I rewatched the first John Wick like the other week, and I hadn't seen it since getting a dog. Uh-huh. And I gotta say, that shit was even more Me too. fucking lit, man. I'm yeah, in the same yeah. boat. So much more satisfying because, like, I mean, the plot of John, the first John Wick, is so beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. beautiful. It's like some asshole kills his dog. Well, and my, my wife, and in died. return, he literally kills a hundred people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my wife died right before that movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you remember really appreciate you guys remember my wife? Yeah. I do remember, remember that yeah. dumb bitch I married for three weeks. Yeah, yeah. It was she funny. died. He's so much more upset about the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I used to live next to when I growing up. I lived next door to a Vietnam vet who had this fucking van, this shitty like late seventies Dodge van. And on the back, it just had a sticker that said uh, "Wife and dog missing, reward for dog." <laughs> nice. And uh, I remember having to have my like Jesus father Christ. explain that joke to me because as like a fucking spectrum ass eight year old, I'm like, but I don't understand why there would be a reward for the dog and not the wife. Yeah. My dad's saying be- he- because you know he he values the dog more than his wife. I'm like, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> He's like, well, that's the joke, son. He said women are trash. <laughs> I'm like, or like oh. the the biker patch that is like, if you can read this, the bitch fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that guy was a biker too. Of course he was. Yeah, dude. I remember him like being one time because my memory of him from my childhood is just a pair of aviators surrounded by gray hair. <laughs> this is big, huge beard, and he used to keep jars of piss in the garage, and he had a fucking Hell stinger. Yeah. Ray that was always underneath like a car cover. When were you in his garage? Uh, well, he, they had a kid, so I mean, oh, okay. you know, they, I, I, who I wasn't really friends with, but, but you, you would know, have met, yeah, I went over there, yeah, a couple times. Um, yeah. But yeah, I remember him one day being like, oh, I'm going to take you ride on my motorcycle. And I went home and I like, asked my dad, I'm like, can I go ride on their motorcycle? My dad's like, no. <laughs> yeah, of course not. <laughs> no, you're crazy. Like, a man. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just take you somewhere I don't know where. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. get alone with this weirdo. Yeah. <clears throat> so you could suck your dick on a little motorcycle. Yeah, um, you know it's cr- people videotape themselves. That guy's weird. His wife. We used to hear. We used to hear them like fighting. Oh, nice, they're, like dude. back porch, face the front of our house. Oh, you yeah. could hear them just like th- nine o'clock in the morning, fucking beer cans hitting the recycling bin. And that that is <laughs> where you do a lot of it. wife hitting is the back porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The back porch is the. Well, that's why you build it. a deck, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you build a deck instead of a family. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's always weird to me when people like okay they videotape themselves fucking but people that why are there so many people that videotape women going to the bathroom that was a Chuck Berry's yeah. big thing that he had a whole chain so of weird. restaurants that were literally just a front to him videotape women <laughs> Chuck yeah, Berry the, the guitar toilet. guy yeah. oh yeah the yeah. rock and roll godfather yeah, he's the most famous yeah. guy but a yeah. lot of people do that shit dude uh, there's, there's, uh, there should be a scene where it's fucking uh, Marty McFly videotaping a woman you're <laughs> 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 not gonna believe that <laughs> By the way, that scene in Back to the Future, uh, very racist because it once again implies that white oh, yeah. people invented rock, and, people. Roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why he did. went Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he went back in time to to yeah. steal rock and roll for whites. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I love that scene specifically for that reason. Because it's such a fuck you. Yeah. It's so fucking, it's so fucking mean. <laughs> Some suburban nerd. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Chuck Berry got done for that, man. Like, he had a whole chain of restaurants that were just literally just so he could have a hidden camera in the women's That's bathroom. That's incredible. Man. I don't and know. He had like a whole fucking like library. All the permits you had to get. Yeah, like, like that guy loved watching women of, shit. Like, video tapes, man. It's, you it's know how much so, work yeah. that is to watch Bizarre. women Bizarre, yeah. I don't know. This is only sort of related. And I, I never, I love I've never fact checked this, dude. but there was a Johnny Rockets in DC, and my friend Brendan was telling me about that. Uh, they got in trouble because the manager there, a black woman, like came in and applied for a job at Johnny Rockets, and like the dipshit fast food manager was like. Well, it wouldn't really fit the theme if, a, you know, like a black lady was working here. Of the 1950s? <laughs> uh, yeah, Johnny Oh, Rock. right, like Johnny Rock. They're like yeah, sort yeah, of throwback like diner, 50s, yeah, like yeah, yeah. rockabilly kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so... Oh, my God. <laughs> 
huge lawsuit. Yeah, that's yeah, incredibly like, illegal. Yeah. <laughs> and then like three years later, the guy did it again, or a different guy at the restaurant did the same thing. They Hell got like yeah. hit with like another discrimination lawsuit. So awesome. Because they're like, we're not allowed to say we can't hire you, but like we can't hire you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm imagining that same conversation happening at Colonial Williamsburg. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one job. The pay's not great. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. There is a position. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know that Eric Andre bit about Colonial Williamsburg? So fucking yeah, funny. Yeah, no, so Colonial good. Williamsburg, it's really fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he also, but he also, or, well, no, he did the Civil War. Re- he would go through Civil War reenactments. As a slave. As, yeah. a, as, as, a, escape as an escape slave. slave. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great bit. I told you guys, right, have I mentioned on the pod when I went to Gettysburg? For the 150th. Yeah, I remember you told me you went to Gettysburg, and my, my joke question follow up was like, Did you go on ecstasy? And then you were like, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you I went on that. Yeah. And then you, you, took, just, you, you took E and went to like the most oh, yeah. hallowed battleground in the American <laughs> yeah. We went for, I went with that my ex girlfriend oh, yeah, and her story. husband now. Now husband. Now husband. Did you see that By the animatronic, way. Uh, like fucking, like uh, General Lee thing that they have? They have like this weird. Like a uh, room, it's like a theater with this like animatronic play that happens. Oh no! It's like yeah. the Disney's Hall of Presidents or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Recording this on Presidents Day. Shout out to all the presidents. What I love about oh, yeah, Gettysburg yeah. is that like it was one. a decisive victory for the Union. But uh, if you go to modern day Gettysburg, it's like, oh yeah, the South definitely won. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing but fucking rednecks that love <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the trucks and the Confederate flag. And <laughs> well, that's and, and fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. They love about, fireworks. That's how I feel about. The Vietnam War. It's like, yeah, we lost, but who's who's cleaning whose fat lady's feet now? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, the Vietnamese. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but I was on uh, uh, drugs there. We were walking around, and there was like, you know, it's obviously you see the fucking Confederates, and it's like if you're gonna bring your fucking whole family, dress them all up in Confederate uniforms, and inclu- including like your five year old kids, like. You just hate black people. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. just hate. There's like, no way you're very open minded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like fucking that. it's literally accurate, dude. The only reason- meanwhile, Adam is like this Confederate flag feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking What's around the thread count. On yeah. this flag? It was so fucking hot outside. Yeah. It was the 150th anniversary. It was Fourth of July because the Gettysburg Battle happened on, on yeah. over four I days. Was, but it was I, over Fourth of July. At the gift shops in Gettysburg, they sell like. You, like the little Union soldier hats and the Confederate soldier yeah, hats, yeah, yeah. and they sell you know the old like fucking Civil War era stars and stripes, which is the fucking you know the circle, the circle, you know, yeah, yeah. shit. And then they also sell Confederate flags, which are not historically accurate. Like that the, was oh, the really? stars and bars. Yeah, the, there was the the battle flag of Northern Virginia, which looked like the stars and bars, except it was a square uh-huh. was a battle. Flag. Yeah, yeah. But the the Confederacy had like a bunch of different flags, but that oh. one was just that's culturally they decided this is the flag of the South. Interesting. Yeah, Leonard Skinner did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, they have that everywhere. But that's I thought it would so be funny. so funny to like just go to one of those gift shops and when someone's not looking, just put a stack of big like Nazi swastika Third Reich <laughs> flags <laughs> just see just how in many there for sale and put <laughs> some rice tags on them <laughs> and see how long were it would take before someone's like, I don't think these are supposed to be in the store. I guarantee you they'd move a few of those. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a, a part of the Civil War. My favorite flag I've ever seen is the one that the, I saw. It, I, I can't remember where I saw it, but it's a Confederate flag. You know the fuck, the, yeah, the Leonard Skinner fucking Dukes of Hazzard yeah, flag. Yeah. But then there's a swastika in the middle of it. Oh yeah, I've seen <laughs> that. It's like hell yeah. yeah, dude, crank it to eleven. Yeah. <laughs> hell my, yeah. My favorite yeah. shit is the on. Uh, uh, Eastbound and Down, where he has the Confederate the flag. Boogie weed, board. Weed, weed <laughs> boogie board. Weed boogie board. Hell yeah. Myrtle Beach. Oh, yeah. I want that. Yeah. I want that so bad. That's so funny. I'm like, all right, fine. Confederate flags are fine. If they all have weed in them, I, I mean, want Confederate flag. I want Calvin pissing. <laughs> I want a Tasmanian devil. I want a weed flag. I want. Yo, what's really funny is uh, if you. I googled this one time because I was like this would be hilarious but I was like what if there's like a gay confederate flag like the rainbow <laughs> with the stars and bars and then if you google it it's it's someone made it already yeah, yeah. someone did that bit already um, anyway but when we were on ecstasy it was so hot we were like sweating we're like this was a terrible idea and they're like, let's go over to those woods, like on the far side of the battlefield for some like tree cover so we could like rest up. So we go there and that's where like all the Union cavalry was with all their horses. And they were like, just like getting the horses some shade because it was so oppressively hot. 
and in the middle of it there's like a black family and they're all just like clearly not sanctioned by the reenactors they were just wearing <laughs> bonnets and stuff <laughs> and they like, just like made a campfire and they were like barbecuing and stuff and we were talking to this guy who's like one of the cavalry guys. He's like, you know, they're not supposed to be here. And I was like, well, you know, technically you should think about what, you know, the the, the poetic, uh, you know, aspect of, of you complaining about, you know, them. I just like the idea of like, it's blazing hot out. You're tripping balls and you're like, this is a bad idea. Let's go get some shade. And then you end up on like little big top where like 5,000 people died. You know, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Like excellent energy. Yeah. 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 Why are we doing that? Well, yeah. And that's what I was no, going to say. Stupid, is Gettysburg dude. is such a boring tourist destination because it is just fields. It's fields. Yeah. It's just a big open field. It's just yeah. a big bunch of open fucking fields and then a couple of shitty gift shops. And it's like the only reason to go is if you think ghosts are real. Uh-huh. Which they're not. Well, to <laughs> yeah, see yeah. the reenactment, it's pretty insane. I've never seen a reenactment. Yeah. See, is they it were actually like, cool. They were like, yeah, there were like tens of thousands of people there. There was like that people from Spain, gay, dude. There were Are people from me? Spain there in like Confederate outfits, and they were like, yeah, we're here for the uh, the because Confederate. We have, always need to find new uses for our swords <laughs> <laughs> because was, uh, Spain does not have enough uses for their swords anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're from Spain, and you came here to to be in the Confederacy. Is like, yeah, there with there were the Spanish people. Who fought for the Confederacy? So we what? like came from. Spaniards are fucking racist, dude. Are oh, they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. In, in Ra- uh, the Real Madrid games, they would fucking throw. Oh yeah, bananas. They would throw bananas at Eto. Remember, like yeah, they would yeah, just yeah, fucking. Yeah. There was, a, still there was going a, on. a Spaniard in my like eighth grade class, and he was like, I was, he sat next to me. I remember talking to him one time. I was like, do you like miss Spain or like how are you adjusting? Because you know he'd only been in the country for like yeah. a year or whatever. And he was like, yeah, you know, Spain's a lot better than America. And I was like, well, in what ways? He's like, well, you know, it's not contaminated like America is. I'm like, what, you mean like the water? Or? Yeah, yeah. He's the like, the I, racial he, yeah, purity. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, like, uh, everyone in Spain is, like, Spanish. They're, you know, they're the right race. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you're 12 yeah. years yeah, old. Dude. <laughs> Europe dude, is so Spain racist. used to be yeah. so good, dude. They had, like, they owned so much shit, and now they suck. Yeah. yeah. They what was it? The they, Spanish yeah, Armada? They, they, they did used to be good when Franco was in charge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So good. <laughs> How did they fuck that up? Was it? Was like, no, but they had a run right before Britain, and everyone had a run, right? They had a they, they had, had a, a huge run. run. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, they had all yeah, the South conquistadors America. and shit. Yeah, they had, yeah. Know? They like fucking they conquered getting, the new world. They yeah. were really good we were at sailing. On the other podcast about uh, uh, Ponce de Leon and how he was uh, Puerto Rican, and just imagining <laughs> Ponce de Leon as like a modern day Puerto Rican. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it might sound a little. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they should get uh, Al Pacino to play Ponce de Leon yeah. to do his Spanish. Well, his carriage accent. just has a, like his name written in fucking old English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to have berets every single day. <laughs> a fucking little Guadalupe on the dashboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They love parades um those folks <laughs> i'm talking about european racist it's so weird the like did have i talked about how the stereotype of black people in uh greece is that they all like to fuck men in the ass no. for some reason that's <laughs> that's the fucking that's, i thought that was the stereotype about greek people yeah i know maybe yeah. we yeah. flipped it i don't know maybe why. it's because like that's just how racism works and like everybody shits on greek people and they're like yeah they just fuck each other in the ass <laughs> right, and then if right, you're in right. greek you just need to like think that about black people yeah. Yeah. Think they're even lower than you yeah, no but so, black people yeah and they all sell they all sell bootleg cds which is actually true that there's a lot of africans that sell bootleg cds in greece or at least that was that was a booming business when I was yeah. like eleven and I yeah. was still over there. Lloyd Banks, Young Buck, <laughs> <laughs> and Fifty yeah, Cent. It's weird. Um, I don't know if you guys. Uh, speaking of uh, again, uh, European racism. Uh, yeah, let's get into uh, it. Did you guys see the shit this morning from the uh, the, the Prison s- Planet guy? The Sweden, about Sweden. This uh, whole thing about how, like Donald no. Trump said, this was thing- an extension of the Fox report that yes, Trump was. Yes. Okay. And uh, what what he was doing is he was like, I will pay like you know any leftist journalist who's like making fun of Sweden to like go live in Malmo, like the most dangerous city in Europe, and like be hosted by these people. And he just like took some screenshots. So clearly, he just did a Google image search for like thugs, Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like one of the pictures is literally 
just like some teens on a corner, like looking like just they would ask you for a cigarette. It was like the least <laughs> yeah. threatening yeah, 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 thing yeah. imaginable. Yeah. Like just like some kids in like a scrawny kids in like track pants, just no. yeah, yeah, sullen yeah, yeah. on a street corner. I didn't see that. I love that. Racists are so such pussies. Uh, have you seen any of that? That's the basis. The, the guy of from that Fox News article, though, the one that Trump like was basically citing it was or Tucker saying. Carlson I no, thought well no it was because it was maybe it was on Tucker Carlson's show oh. but the report was from Ami Horowitz who has these videos where he like uh, he'll be like I'm here in Times Square talking to fucking you know white liberals or whatever and uh, he finds like one girl that's like yeah, I think, you know, uh, voter ID laws are racist because, you know, it affects black people's ability to vote or whatever. He's like, hmm, let's see, uh, let's see how black people feel about that. And he's like, well, I'm here now in Harlem. And he's like, oh, you're a black person. Uh, uh, do, do you think it's racist that, uh, you should be allowed to vote? And I'd be like, no. And they'll be like, well, uh, liberals, liberals think it is. <laughs> By the way, here, here are the teens. Oh, wow. <laughs> that shit is so funny, dude. I don't know. They do look kind of threatening. This one guy's got liberty spikes. There's graffiti there. <laughs> Those are Muslims. <laughs> this is, hold on, dude. This is like three different types. Of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How are these guys hanging out? This could look more staged. It's a guy with a... It's with a, a breakfast like, club no, type situation. It's a situation. fucking hot topic guy. A, like a Dundalk yo boy. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and then a fucking crust punk. Oh, These, there's yeah. no. Uh, this is this is the kind of cultural mixing that I can't support. Because <laughs> <laughs> why the crust different, punk would be hanging out with the fucking tough guy from Degrassi? <laughs> yeah, different kinds of cliques. Yeah. Wait, are that, these so. guys even Muslim? Yeah, I mean, well, one uh, of the pictures he used is like a guy pulling up his shirt and had like tattoos on his stomach, but you can literally see him wearing a rosary. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Speaking of, you guys said well, how do you know Carlson. they weren't anal beads? <laughs> That's true, because they were on his neck yeah, and not they could coming out of his ass. <laughs> they could be the, the massive influx of homosexuals. That's where I like to store them. I like to the smell around my neck. <laughs> I will pay you a million dollars to um, hang out with this punker from. Syria. Wait, this is crazy. Look at this shit. Will man. that guy? Will that guy actually pay for anyone, dude? No, Let's of course go. not. Let's, oh yeah, his avatar is, is hilarious. That is a weird mix on Twitter. Uh, anyway, what's uh, what, what's up with Tucker Carlson? He just wears bow ties, and that's his thing. Uh, didn't he stop wearing the bow yeah, ties? Yeah, I think he. I think yeah. he switched that up. I think yeah. bow ties. Be his thing. That was his branding ten years ago. That's how he broke into the business. Yeah, He's yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. What, be the bow because he was guy. like a younger conservative, which right. like. You know, to find a guy under the age 25 that's willing to be like, mm, actually, black people are stupid. You know, <laughs> right, it's a rarity. Right, 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 right. And then he wear bow ties, and that's, you know, how he got it. And then guy, bow ties are trustworthy. It's a, He took it from Bill Nye, I think. Did yeah. that guy Horowitz, was he the guy that did the Chinatown video? Um, for Bill, uh, no, Bill that, O'Reilly, uh, Jesse Waters. Yeah. Like, that's like Bill, Bill O'Reilly. That guy is yeah. such a piece of shit. No, yeah. I've seen a couple of like Ami horror with all my suggested YouTube videos are like, you know, uh, a sewer. I'm sure. It's all Sam Hyde videos, and then like uh, Trey Gowdy destroys rape victims. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's so good. The, the Trey Gowdy videos are the fucking best. Those are my favorite. Favorite. He's the guy that he's that like ran away he, he from the town so hall. uncanny. He, dude, he looks weird. Dude. He looks <laughs> yeah. like a, but we talked about it. Him and Kasich have this weird thing where they have like the 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 like facial. They look like a boy. They look like Billy Quiz Boy. Right. Not like him, but whatever the Billy Quiz Boy's problem is. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, where they just have this, some like, sort of like aging deficiency yeah, yeah, where they yeah. look like a, a f like a four year old just sped up time. <laughs> yeah. and suddenly they're, progeria. Yeah, sixty five <laughs> years old. <laughs> but yeah, the Trey guy, it's always like he'll have like some immigration activists that are like, these people just need to have a job and a place to live. And he's like, okay, what about, uh, what about, uh, Sandra Williamson? She's like, I don't. What are you talking about? He's like, well, she was raped and murdered by an illegal immigrant. And actually, we actually have a rape kit here, and we're going to pass it on. I want everybody to smell this rape kit. It's about her dreams. Look at this. It's about her dreams and aspirations. Ah, yeah. uh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he looks terrible. Yeah, wow. actually, well, you, for how old he is, he doesn't look bad. It's, how old is he? It's, I mean, he's probably like 55. Look at this haircut. Yeah. This is it, awful. That's the problem, is he doesn't know how to get haircuts, you know? And Kasich is the same thing, where Kasich has like an eight-year-old boy's haircut. <laughs> I think he looks cute. What's Kasich up to? Is he still governor now? I don't know. He's fucking quietly asking everyone to be reasonable. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Uh, I was going to bring this up back when we were still talking about um, uh, people videotaping them having cells yes, having sex. Please, please. Uh, it's just 
still in my head. But, uh, you know, if you're like me, you've been, you know, I've been checking out a lot of sort of like amateur like swinger porn recently you okay. know, I've, been, I've been on that tip you amateur know? what like swinger porn swinger of like, okay of like you know like regular husbands and wives who yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. have orgies or sure. like you know whore their wife out or something like that yes I just gotta say um, if you do that that's cool I enjoy it but uh, turn the TV off yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how many of these videos I've watched where it's like some guys <laughs> like getting spit roasted but in the background you can e- literally hear like the 11 o'clock local yeah. news going on <laughs> and That's clean your so living good. room too people yeah. come on I'm just putting that out as a PSA a little clutter. I, f- right I feel now. like the lut- lighting is bad the message is going to get out yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, swinging seems like a bad idea to me oh terrible just don't be in a relationship well, wait, you guys were the ones who were saying, uh, you said uh, on the podcast once that you wouldn't mind if people fucked your girlfriend. I wouldn't That's, mind. I wouldn't there's a difference between that different. and swinging. Yeah, right. Inviting a bunch of strangers over to your apartment. A bunch of horny strangers so to come you over. And your, you Out and your of fucking shape. low T friends yeah. can get together because you're not. You're somehow not cool enough to join a bowling league. <laughs> so you have to so fuck have to each use other's your wife's wives. Yeah. pussy as bait for friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Kurt does know. that. Kurt and Kurt and uh, Karen, they they would like they're swingers. I, I don't know, man. Billy, you think you ever get in there, dude? You think, the, you think the porn is it? I a, think maybe it's a, a gateway drug. Is a gateway yeah. to you swapping? Yeah, something like that. Nice, Are you man. into the idea of wife swapping, or is it? Just well, no, I'd have to get married first. Like, yeah, yeah, for yeah, me yeah. now, it doesn't appeal to me at all. Yeah, but right. I, I need to see a ring yeah, in, yeah. in porn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or else yeah. I can't. You want to? There's, there's that added free song. I don't know, there's something about it. There's I need like to a, see a wedding ring. There's a genre that's like like Romanian orgies or whatever, and it's just a room with people all fucking each other on a pullout couch, like a big long. Sectional. Oh no, like, no, that's, it's, that's not, it's so gross. Right, it's yeah. so gross. Like, no, no, I feel like I'm looking at a magic eye. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to beat off. Don't to. focus your. If you don't yeah, focus right. your it's eyes, it's not Romanian. You see, really you see a sailboat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool skull. Yeah. Yeah. It's Czech, dude. It's not Romanian. They love orgies. Czech has some great porn, dude. Yeah, the, the Czech, Czech cast. The Czech love. Yeah, they you love casting couch. Those? They love orgies. Czechs they love gangbang. Is that be like yeah, a they cool? Yeah, they love to cash. They, they love pay, to. They their pay. mouths love to write checks that, and then cash them. Yeah, oh yeah, I love. I love those casting videos because it's just it's such terrible acting. Where it's like, oh no, we have to have sex now. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, what I always thought it would be like a fun sketch. Is like you have a birthday party for a guy that's in the closet, but it's like a big fat guy. You know, like mm-hmm. a flamboyant big fat, like you. <laughs> like a cool, like a yeah. cool, a big fat flamboyant respects. guy, and it's his birthday. But like, cool. you know, he's and very, he's clearly very gay. But like, but he's like, you cool, know, closet or whatever. <laughs> and they bring out a big cake for his it's birthday, and he's like, <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> and then the stripper comes out of the cake, and he's like, oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to eat the biggest cake in the world. That's funny as shit, dude. Yeah, we should dude. do that. Yeah, how fucking disappointed would you be if, you're, if you just thought you were going to get that giant cake? And you are gay, yeah. And there's a woman inside of it ruining the cake? <laughs> just like a uh, yeah. Seagal in Under Siege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. wanted to eat that whole cake, too. Mm-hmm. But now I he had to babysit love, some fucking does, woman the whole rest doesn't of Doesn't she movie. pop out and like pull her tits yeah, out? Yeah, oh, yeah. And there's a like, good long scene of yeah. uh, tits in Under and Siege. And it takes her like oh, fucking yeah. five minutes before she realizes the room's empty. Yeah. <laughs> She's hearing yeah. all these gunshots and like, oh, I guess that's very similar to that that we mentioned it on the last one is in Bloodsport, the scene where uh where Jean Claude Van Damme has fucked the reporter lady and she's waking up the next morning and she wakes up to Jean Claude Van Damme getting dressed. But the way they directed the scene is like it's her like waking up and she's like, Oh, and Jean Claude Van Damme's over there, so the shot cuts to Van Damme. And the way they directed it was, you know, she's supposed to be waking up and seeing him while he's getting dressed. But they just shoot Jean Claude Van Damme. So his cue, he stands there on his mark with his pants, his underwear <laughs> underneath his ass, looking <laughs> over his shoulder. And then the director goes, and action. And then he finishes. <laughs> <playing the picture. laughs> but the edit point is, is like a microsecond off. So it just gives you the impression that he's been standing there pointing his bare ass <laughs> at this woman while she's asleep until she wakes up. And Do you think if you got up. it, flaunt it? You know? yeah. It would be so cool if John claude Van Damme, when he asked his wife to marry her, he like did a full split and then opened the ring yeah. box. Yeah. Or the ring was on his dick. Oh, that'd be yeah, cool, yeah. When there was the... Uh, I, I fucking love Bloodsport, though. Yeah, it's yeah, such yeah, a good yeah. movie. It's, it's a hilarious was, movie. When the terrorist attack happened in Belgium after the Paris attacks, 
Olympics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I made an image that's John Claude Van Damme doing the splits in between the Twin Towers and the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> and, he's, and he's shitting onto a Quran in the toilet. <laughs> 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 nice. Satire. To bring everybody nice. together. Yeah. <laughs> did anyone? So good, did anyone call them the par- Paris attacks? Never. Sorry. Apologize. Apologize uh, you know who's real terrorist? <laughs> Paris Hilton. Uh-oh. Folks, that whore wrote one night in Paris. We've definitely talked about that porno, right? It's not very good. It's that not reality, good. No, I, give, I give it two thumbs down. That reality actually. show yeah, is yeah. great. Yeah, we have like, dumb Nicole rich Ritchie. people go and humiliate people from rural America. Yeah. We don't even know who we're mocking anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that the simple life? The simple yeah, the life. Simple yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, Lionel's get, daughter. Yeah. They had to just get jobs at like a fast food place. Yeah, yeah. And then they'd like fuck dudes like at local what? bars. <laughs> Yeah. Stop, come on. What, dude? I didn't do anything. All right. Did they fuck on that show? Of course. Yeah, they used to like make out with like just like local guys with like their lips full of dip and stuff. <laughs> yeah. They'd just be like so confused. They're like, Yeah, these ladies came from New York now yeah. making out with them. You know <laughs> it feels cool. like her whole body's made out of elbows, but she smell real nice. <laughs> yeah, she smell good. <laughs> she smell good to me. She smell good, but yeah. Oh yeah. man. Uh, I, they do they do fist fuck a cow on that show. Oh yeah, they have to inseminate they're, yeah, because a cow. they're like they're like oh well we're farmers but like I don't know how much of American agriculture is still actual farms and not like you know a Monsanto futuristic prison for chickens <laughs> right right right, where, right. Yeah, where you commit a chicken thought crime <laughs> so like they're like it's just a simple life you're out on the farm and they're in some big fucking warehouse like go, sticking their entire arm into a cow's pussy. There point. was a huge run of uh, like horse and cow, like jerking off horses and putting your whole fist in a cow's pussy. Yeah, humor. jackass. That happened in yeah. like the early aughts, I feel like. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, got no, no, I Freddy got fingered. You, you, like, uh, to like, uh, collect a bull's semen, you have to stimulate their prostate. So you have to stick your whole arm in their ass hole. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then collect it. But I think with a, with a cow, with a, with, a, with a lady cow, I think you have to do something similar, but like you put like a. A pipette into the uh, vagina, and then nice. you, you also stick your arm in their asshole. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> just like, I just don't believe we play. don't That's have the birds technology and bees to put stuff. a fake arm in the cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah. is being accomplished with the human arm. We've been no to the way. moon. <laughs> or just let the cow. Why can't the cows just fuck? You know, uh, I don't there's think enough room and technology to allow. I don't the think cows they've ever figured out how to fuck, dude. I think it's been they're not two thousand years. <laughs> I, first of all, I don't even know uh, where cows are indigenous from. I don't know where we. we I got know, they're them. buffalo. I think right? they. I think they do this with with horses, particularly because like a stallion can actually kill uh, a mare. Uh, oh really? If you're not careful. With that good yeah. dick? And yeah, exactly. Dick's so dick, good, dick you dick die. Dick's too good, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like wow. when you're invested like hundreds of thousands of dollars in like a, a horse or whatever, you yeah. can't take chances like that. Sure, sure. Um, Interesting. But the cows, it's whatever. Yeah, cow. Like we we kill them every fucking yeah. day. <laughs> you <laughs> could also. It's, it's also automation. You know, it's probably if you quicker. just let the animals fuck, you could fire all the people whose job it is to fist and fluff the animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a fluffer. I've yeah, sucked the bull yeah. off before he fucks the cow. Yeah. <laughs> well, he doesn't have to uh, use his mouth, but he chooses to. <laughs> and, you know, I the, say, hey. Those are the jobs. If you find a way baby. to make the job fun, I'll say go for it. <laughs> me, I bring a little Bluetooth speaker with me. I listen we- to the Almond <laughs> Brothers while I jerk the cow off. Some guys just like to suck the cow dick. <laughs> That's what a simple life is. Yeah, we have fun around here. <laughs> no, those are the, those are the jobs that are coming back to America. Absolutely, dude. yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We, we got to stop letting bulls. these Malaysian fucks suck all the cow dick. <laughs> Some Malay son of a bitch is fucking elbow deep in cow pussy right now. Get the hell out. Oh, fuck. I uh, I like Monsanto on Facebook. Oh, nice. And Monsanto's been getting into it, it to the same degree that Raytheon has the, like, uh, woke uh, postings. Yeah. That's uh, hilarious. Like Raytheon, That's Raytheon does it all the time. We're like, we're teaching girls science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And, yeah. and it's fucking like, you know, we're I giving, always share them. We're giving, <laughs> yeah. we're giving girls 
in Yemen. Yeah. <laughs> Up close. Yeah. Lessons in physics. We're helping them get, yeah, right. We're helping them get tans <laughs> to become more beautiful, even though they don't have to. <laughs> well, I remember like uh, like the like natural gas companies, like they've been trying to have like a sort of uh, open a PR front because everybody thinks fracking is bad, mm-hmm. and they yeah. just, like they so they're doing like memes now where it's just like that feel when someone tells you like natural gas is bad and it's just like some girl rolling her eyes or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that people when, that feel when someone says fracking and causes their water to catch fire yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think no, it's the, cool though to have the Raytheon water Raytheon ones are good the goes Monsanto on fire. ones are good and what I love is too is because Raytheon still shares all their other shit so it'll be like you know a video of like a classroom and they're teaching girl science encouraging girls to get into STEM or whatever and then you know fucking morons are like you know, like like uh, Becky Starfish, you know, or whatever their dumb like you know Facebook name is like. I love this. This is so great, or whatever. And then the next video is like the fucking Mark II V eighteen ICBM yeah. <laughs> targeted laser guided system. And then the comments in those are always like you know a dude that's just a fucking hat. Or a mustache. <laughs> it's a picture right up. <laughs> You're a fucking moron who's just hates every everything about Obama and the last eight years. Dude, Facebook from a profile picture is just your mustache and your fucking rosacea, your swollen ass rosacea nose and your stupid hat. And they comment on all those Raytheon <laughs> ICBM. There was, I saw one guy one time that's like, America is the you do not fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, having a fucking seizure while you know, commenting on how great the missile systems are. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God. Ugh. No, those are great. I but I I fucking love all that the the the, the cause <laughs> marketing from literally the I most know. evil companies in the world. Which I was doing as a joke not to like, you know, hey, guess listen up to this uh thing I photoshopped four years ago. Yeah. But I did that with all like when, when Tostinos made that they did a tweet, which they stole by the way from someone on Etsy. Tostino the like pizza roll company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a tweet where they took the word uh, gender rolls and crossed it off and it says pizza rolls. Oh nice. Uh. And all these people were quote tweeting and like, well, I know what I'm having for dinner and it's like, You stupid fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't do that. They, fucking, they stole that tweet from like some pillow that some girl was selling on like Etsy. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. stole her idea. They probably fucking, compensated her really well. Yeah, for I'm sure. It. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. She's, she's retired yeah. now. Yeah. No, so I did a bunch of them where it's like you know McDonald's and then like uh, we're heroes. We let retarded people work here and put it in like every different language or like you know uh, Occidental Petroleum. Like a woman should be able to dig wherever she wants <laughs> you know uh, um, or like you know dole like unions uh, crossed off uh, or same sex unions yeah. <laughs> civil <laughs> unions yeah uh, yeah, like Coca Cola and Bolivia yeah. unions. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Sex unions. It was, it was two bananas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was two bananas. Oh, 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 along those lines, like a, a similar genre is is something I've been seeing uh, popping up recently, where it's like intended to be these heartwarming stories of like perseverance and you know discipline among mm-hmm. young people. Where it's like, you know, this is this is Michael. Like, Michael has been collecting recycling every single day and working two jobs while going to school to put himself through college. Don't ever say you can't work harder than enough. Like, Jesus always do more. And I'm just like, Christ. this is such a terrible indictment of yeah, our yeah. society. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> He's literally collecting trash so he can get an education. Like, right. what the fuck? He's, like, he has this... working three other yeah. jobs. Yeah. He, has, he has shittier economics than a hermit crab. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does yeah, what yeah. a hermit crab does, yeah. plus two more jobs. Yeah, there is a bottom Uber feeding thing. crustacean <laughs> yeah. has a better economic outlook than this human being. <laughs> yeah, co- there was. It cost us more. More money to produce this video than he makes in yeah, six yeah, months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing anything to change that. There was an Uber thing. It was like uh, Cheryl's 11 months pregnant and still driving her Uber. That's how Oh, much. God. Yeah, it's yeah. like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> That's horrible. Give her yeah, fucking help. The best care. part, she was raped in a lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Makes you think. You think? Yeah. <laughs> I like, I By the way, what happened with Uber with that? Uh, There's some controversy there now about thing. some like. You know what? It came up in my newsfeed and then my newsfeed refreshed, so I don't know okay. what that story They're is. They're in trouble again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some HR shit. Some people, women get harassed all the time working for Uber or some shit like okay. that. In like the corporate side? Yeah, I think so. Not, not cool. just by their drivers. Yeah, not, <laughs> not just by, by their like drivers. In the office yeah. too. Yep. Which oh, is cool. chill. Yeah. Uh, well, I can't wait till they chill. just 
cut people out completely. Well, that, that, I mean, we were talking about the guys uh, who were going to lose their jobs um, fisting cows, but like, yeah. a real thing is that, like, in the next, like, very soon, in the next Automate decade or cars. something. Is uh, automate like yeah, uh, self driving cars. Dude, thirty million people are going to be out of work in like, the next it's decade right. or so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If the cab drivers that'll be a problem, sure. And like inner city, uh, 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 you know, courier services are one thing. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and especially in Manhattan, I feel like it would it'll still always be faster to have a bike courier than somebody on yeah. a fucking car. So for local deliveries and stuff in the city, the real impact is going to be long haul truck truckers, drive, long haul yeah. truckers, yeah. who are fucked, and that'll devastate the economies of so many fucking small towns. Yeah, it's 20 to 30 million American men have that. Well, is that, yeah, is yeah. that when like that. the fucking universal basic income comes in the mix? Just well, like, uh, you know, probably, probably not. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But wouldn't that be cool? If well, fucking, but here's, 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 here's why machine. the trucker thing is really <laughs> fucking important is because the not only uh, uh, it, does it fuck over like the infrastructure, but it's 90 percent, 90 fucking percent of all uh, borderline racist New York podcast and radio show audiences. <laughs> oh, it's fuck, a huge dude. problem. I didn't dude. realize it's what an actual problem. issue these guys are not sitting in the cab of their truck muttering slurs about everyone else on the road all day long. Mm -hmm. What do you think? They're going to listen to Kumia's show at the mall in the food court when they're out of work? No, of course not. Their ears Serious are swollen fucked. from fucking forehead edema. They can't fit earbuds in there. <laughs> <laughs> they need the speakers inside the cab. They have cauliflower ear from hate crimes they've committed over the time. Over Never the tell you about that lives. guy, that guy, that homeless guy. My friends were just hanging out with one night in Rockville that had like, he like, I won the lottery and now I'm like, Illegally parked behind the old Jeepers in this semi. <laughs> I bought. This guy bought a semi. He doesn't know how to drive it. He the and he's just telling us, he's like, Yeah, I just love buying electronics and shit. He's like, Why are you hanging out with this guy? I just found him. They were they're buying <laughs> weed. They were buying, he was buying uh, drugs. I think, for well, them. you got to go, right? We're, we're almost out of time here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, thought, I, can keep oh, I can keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't know if you were on a time crunch. No, no. <laughs> yeah, we're having fun. Yeah. It was a fun Yeah, one. that guy was just. Just had his, this truck that he bought. For like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming semis cost like two hundred thousand dollars. Well, yeah, here's probably. a question: Like, uh, I see. I'm I'm worried about it because of the horrific economic impact of putting ten to twenty million people <laughs> right, out of right, work. Right, right, right. But I'm also concerned because I feel like, what do you? Trust more when you're driving on a highway and you see like a giant fucking tractor trailer, like some guy that you just described who's like probably like sniffing crank because he's been up for 72 hours driving, or just like a fucking computer driving one of those things. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, that freaks me out. Well, the Absolutely, thing, the thing with you can say that computers are safer than the drivers because of like, well, uh, you know, human error causes them to fuck up, but that doesn't mean that there's not going to be fuck ups. And in the cases of human error, Who do you there's, sue? More, there's more accountability. Right. So if you have if you have a man that fucks up and drives his semi into like you know a fucking kills a family or whatever, he's an independent contractor. It was that man. There's a clear answer. This is who's responsible. And obviously, you know, you're not going to get your family back through litigation or whatever. But that's just how justice works, and that's the options we have available to us. Mm -hmm. If it's, it's some huge patchwork of like automated systems and bullshit, uh, you know, a uh, fucking automated a truck drives and through a, a you know a, a schoolyard and kills a bunch of kids. <laughs> then it's like, whoa, well, well, who's a we're going to bring Apple the, the algorithm to court? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. there's but no accountability. No, wouldn't the company be fucking the company? But it's a corporation that's protected by you know it's yeah. So they take a fucking ding from the lawsuit. But those cor companies are going to be fucking huge, right? If you don't think it's going to be one or two companies that control all of the the you know domestic you know uh, of course of course. trucking routes with these automated systems, because <clears throat> like look at look at like. Uh, 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 like mobile networks. So there's four companies in America that control all the mobile networks. Right. And Verizon will continue to do shit that should just be, I mean, it is fucking illegal. They get fined for it where they'll just decide to discontinue service in an area or something that fucked up and they won't fix it. Right. And they'll just, you know, charge people more money. And uh, eventually they get fined by the FTC, and those fines are immediately passed on to the consumer right, through a section right. on your bill that says, like, additional surcharges, and they, they never see any fucking yeah. consequences for it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have if, – if enough of, like, big companies are able to put out these trucking lines and just literally kill people and fucking write it off as an expense because the entire – it's a lot different than, like, the consumer automotive market where – you don't like you know. There's a lot more competition. You don't necessarily need a 
car. It's right. the backbone of fucking, you know, everything <clears throat> in America, all of our, you know, internal shipping. If you bring those people to court, they're not going to fuck them over to the extent that they can't do business anymore. Right. There's no way to boycott trucking companies. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they all just fucking. Yeah. Like, as you said, Nick, considering like every piece of food you eat is delivered with a truck yeah. right, everywhere right, right, in America. Yeah. Um, you think that you think the government, let's say one of those, one of the three companies that gets to control all of those, those shipping routes. Or those trucking routes accidentally, oh, we killed, you know, 10,000 people. <laughs> they're not going to say, okay, well, shut it down. You're going to go out of business. No, they're going <laughs> to yeah. assess some kind of fine that you're, or you'll be class action well, but, lawsuit. But that's the scary shit is that, like, computers will probably be fine until they really fuck up. Like, I could see, like, some, some fucking chip fucking up or some shit. No, I think it'll be like, worse. It'll be worse shit. at the beginning, and then the fucking system will learn from the mistakes. There's I already, think that's like, how the computers already, work. Like, I was I was talking with somebody about Y two K the other day. They're like, "Yeah, remember how everyone thought that was going to be a big deal and it wasn't? It was like, uh, it kind of was. There was shit that fucking happened in Y two K that you know it wasn't as bad as people thought it would be. But in in England, there was a computer program that like uh, uh, determined genetic typing for all these couples. Oh, yeah, and the computer program that. spit out like, "Oh yeah, your son's going to have Down syndrome. You better abort." And there's Whoa! all these people that got abortion. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> There's all these women that fucking had their kids aborted, and they're like, ah, we forgot to carry the one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. And why, that was fucking Y2K oh did God, that shit. And it's like, uh, you know, but, it, you know, the, the ATMs weren't spitting out money, so I guess <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, yeah. it, it, there was nothing happened. But yeah, automation is dangerous. I don't trust that shit, dude. Don't I mean, but maybe, yeah. maybe we're just old mother, like, isn't this how people probably talked about cell phones and shit? And like, I mean, they are probably giving us cancer or something, but... There's something, mu- there is something scarier of cars. They're so fast, it's so fucking... Yeah, but what added convenience do you get out of fucking, like, automated trucking systems? We well, don't. Well, the, You're right. the argument is money. that good, the goods cell will phones, be Cell phones cheaper. benefit everybody. It, it, it connects people. And yeah, sure, similar arguments. Similar arguments are made about any kind Every of Every technology, when, yeah. when, like, Pulp Fiction came out, people were saying, oh, this is going to destroy, everyone's going to be stupid because they're reading all the time. Right, right, right. Instead of the I don't movie, know. no, no, <laughs> when, the like, actual like book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't that what they said about ri- literally writing and like philosopher like? That's, that's what they the, said about the printing press. Yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. silent reading became a thing, because you used to have to read out loud, and people started reading in their head, and they're like, "Don't do that. That's what fucking it's trash like, people do." Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, that, yeah, sure. But certain things make you smart, and certain things make you dumb. As like TV definitely makes you dumb, right? No, reading makes you smart. I think if you're just a dumb person, it's easier to watch TV all the time. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. If you don't have to think critically about, you don't stuff. challenge. But then now yourself. there's TV that's not completely fucking dumb anymore. That's true, but it's easier to just check. But out. at the same time, it's 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 a any kind of like visual medium is inherently more passive because it's like it's just being sort yeah. of piped into your right. head. You're you not really the like tempo. you're not yeah exactly. Right, like, whereas right, right. you're reading a novel, you're reading it, but you have to sort of create. The world yeah, in your own head. You have to use yeah, your imagination yeah, yeah. more than just sort of like passively but it's, mm-hmm. it's receiving. That's it. why it's not, it's not impossible though to passively consume literature, and plenty of people mm-hmm. fucking do that. Yeah, that's I why like that's I only I listen to radio plays. <laughs> that's all the media. Fear of I the mind. Fear of the mind. You know I, think, bro? I think I uh, think big corporations and uh, technology are just basically filming themselves fucking the American people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're watching it back and it back. great old time yeah, yeah. laughing about how dumb we all are. Yeah. I don't know. But the, 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 yeah, the bigger argument, it's not that like, oh, well, you know, automation is unsafe. Is that it destroys jobs and it, when it destroys jobs, it destroys people's lives and it right. fucking it hurts the problem of income and wealth inequality even more. Yeah. Like they have automated McDonald's now in New York and you, you probably don't see them because they're not in fucking Union Square. They have them all up in Harlem. Right. They have them right, in the places right. where they want to fire people immediately. Right, right, right. And where the people need the jobs. Right. Well, that's also weird because, like, uh, you know, McDonald's in particular, <clears throat> really everywhere, has, has, like, almost become, like, de facto social services for, yeah. like, large segments of the population. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, like, what are they going to do when they're completely, like, untethered from yeah. uh, any human contact? Yeah. They're going to write the next great novel. They're going <laughs> to write the next great song. They're going to make the next great dance. Walmart, um, too. No, apparently Walmart started hiring more people. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, no, actually, <laughs> I, 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 we actually talked about this on, on my show, but there is a, an article that came out a while ago about how, what a huge drain Walmart is on local police departments. <clears throat> right, yeah, all yeah, All over yeah, the country. Yeah. They, they actually have to have... Like a cop who's, who's there. paid with taxes, right? In, in, who has to stay in, in the Walmart, Walmart yeah. to just keep processing all the people they arrest in Walmart because these these stores are like 
just massive open spaces. Right. They don't hire enough people to do, actually do real there's security three, for business There's three business people outside. working but in yeah, a massive warehouse. There's three people working well, there. When I was in New Hampshire with Felix and Justin, I was in a Walmart, and there was dog shit in the aisle, <laughs> which was amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone let their dog shit inside. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. The other thing is that they also let people, because they, they, they need their employees to do this, they let people stay in cars, you can like in a parking lot 24 hours a day yeah, overnight. Yeah, RV parking. Parts. Yeah, because initially it was for all the uh -huh. old people because they're like uh, they thought it'd be nice for old people like the fucking you know uh, the who aren't going to cause any trouble and yeah. then I th thought they reversed that because of vagrants and shit. Yeah, but like vagrancy, but it's just basically but like and then like like so much in, in in you know like modern American life like everything is like just sort of it's just like sort of these strip malls off highways but there's no real like community or main street and there's no there's no eyeballs <clears throat> on the street. I mean like you know. Urbanologists, yeah. or whatever you study this, mm -hmm. like there's a word like, word like eyes on the street is a thing that they think cuts down on crime because it's just like if people are out and about and it's sort of like a main sure. street in yeah, like yeah, or yeah. a high street in a town or city, it's different. But like now they're just these sort of people, just sort of like completely like emaciated, desiccated like areas Absolutely, of just dude. commerce. So there's like mm -hmm. nothing going on. I mean, you could yeah. get, probably yeah. get like raped or killed in Walmart. I'm sure it happens, dude. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 I was yeah. just in Oklahoma. That's exactly how that shit was. It was like there's nothing, no one, and the closest thing to like. A main street or a downtown was Walmart. Like that yeah. shit was mm, yeah. bustling. Like that's where people go to fucking hang and shit like that. It was yeah. <laughs> well, I, in Texas, I, there was a Walmart that had a police like substation in the Walmart, so it was beyond just one officer. The Walmart had its own police but, station, and it's also not just that. They also just pay their employees shit. I'm sure they're all on like. A lot of them I'm sure are they don't care if people welfare. are stealing. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's just like that's other ways the government fucking subsidizes Walmart's bitch ass. What was uh, what was Oklahoma like stuff? You're out there uh, doing a date? Yeah, I was I was doing a, a casino. Um, it was Cherokee Nation. Baby. Cherokee Nation, great gig. Shouts out Lacey. Um, but the actual place was fucking kind of depressing. <laughs> I mean, it was, like, <laughs> it was especially casinos make me sad. Yeah, they're general. super sad. Like what he's he's neglecting. I did it last year. <clears throat> we went hiking in the Ozarks the morning after and it was amazing. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, well you went with Ari, I went with fucking Bobby. Bobby's not going fucking. I would have I would have loved a nice hike, but uh uh, let's, it was all, just... let's all quietly laugh. At <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> How much fucking activity does your bitch ass do Way on a day to you. day? When? What I was do you doing do? pull-ups when you came in here. I did. I do. I'll do push-ups right now, dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> all right, dude. I'm about to you're finish. You're fucking this. half nude. You're like lounging. I'm doing push-ups. You right look now, like you're about run. to eat peeled grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Straighten that back out. Shut up, yeah. Will. <laughs> <laughs> I, everyone, I just did 40 push-ups. That was the <laughs> grossest push-up I've ever you seen. You know what? Fuck all. It, the, the cord is short, so I couldn't do like really a really good one. But we need yeah. to get you back in pants, dude. <laughs> Too much as he sweats. This is great. This is great radio right now, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I just did a clap push up, everyone. Yeah, yeah, that get, was like John Claude like Man. Those, Damn, those video <laughs> broadcasting studios, so we can force you to do exercise and then also jack off a midget and reach the final <laughs> of, of New York broadcasting. <laughs> yeah, we need to. What is, so what's that? Do you got like a midget sized pussy too? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's interesting. I'll just ah. get sunglasses. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know, man. It was tough, and it's like the food, all the food, like, it's hard to be, to not eat like shit at a place like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a There's casino. Nothing, yeah. 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 But even the people that, like, live there, it's well, like... Well, that's why San Antonio is the fattest city, because you go there, and it's like, you, the way Starbucks is here, yeah. it's like that there with fucking Olive Garden. Yeah, dude, <laughs> you know? it's incredible. It's everywhere. And, yeah, and, like, Red Lobster and all those, like, you know, uh, what's, what's, what, like, uh... Casual dine. What's that that tier of chain restaurants called? Where it's like sit down casual, fast casual. No, no, that's no it, yeah, that's like Panera and shit. Where it's I don't know. Garden, about? Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Macaroni, Applebee's. Applebee's. And it's, as far as the fucking eye can see, you drive yeah. around San Antonio yeah. and it's all these fucking elevated highways and chain restaurants. Yeah, and then people dress like cowboys on hover rounds. So they're <laughs> easily five, six hundred pounds. It's insane yeah, how fat yeah. they are down they there. They all want to be fat cowboys, which is like, first of all, no one would ever let you on a horse. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be fucking yeah. animal cruelty. You have to ride a, a buffalo. Fat a fat person riding a horse back. is one of the funniest images. It is a great. It is yeah. very funny. No, they all look like those twins. <laughs> yes, I was just going to say one of my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. One of my favorites of all time, the twins, the yeah. big fat twins on the what little scooters. What are they scooters. called, the Williams twins, the Wallace twins? <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah. Uh, we, we ate at Red Lobster when we were in D.C., and I got to say it was the best dining experience we had there all week. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, D.C. is a lot of like good fake-ass bistros uh, now. I love those 
Yeah, yeah, it's all this. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's all those shitty bistros, which yeah, I hate. Yeah. But man, those fucking biscuits are so yeah. good. Yeah, yeah they're they're good. I, dude, I did it up big. I got the Admiral's platter, which is just all fried. Yeah. Hell, just fried everything. Yes. <laughs> and if you finish it's just it, a you're actually commissioned as a four star. <laughs> yeah, you're in the Admiral. Navy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it. Though. Yeah. So I didn't get my uh, lapels. <laughs> Do they get Epilogue. stars in the Navy or like little anchors? It's stars. Yeah, there's star. Yeah. They get stars still? Yeah. All yeah. the top tier like uh, 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 officer ranks in the like or United starred. States Armed Services, I think, are stars. Yeah. yeah. It's the right? same in uh, right? kindergarten, so. too. Yeah. If you get stars, you like and, for and, being good. And is a video ho like a five star bitch? Oh yeah, <laughs> goes, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the highest yeah. level of bitch you could be. Uh, um, was that five star bitch that Gucci? Show? I was saying, I was saying to uh, Nick and Stav yesterday. Well, and I'm glad you're on the podcast now. But as an alumnus of uh, the Chapa Trap House, I am now technically a pundit, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they should respect Shut me the as fuck such, up, dude. No, you should I've never. I've never disrespected. I just slapped you down. Once everyone, did you hear show? that? I'm MSM. <laughs> no, I, I, I was doing like. A, I'm mainstream media, dude. MSM <laughs> pundit. I was bored the other day, so I was doing that like curious cat thing. We're just like anonymous questions from people who follow oh, you yeah. on Twitter and uh, a lot of people were saying uh, like uh, we love the Adam episode uh, but just once again like to remind you that uh, Brendan Wardell was your worst guest ever <laughs> never, <laughs> never have back on I will open a, I will burn down a hospital for every uh, he makes on your shit show about him. he got his feelings hurt because now people don't like him and he's blaming it entirely on us this yeah. is yeah, whatever man who cares I care it, I, 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 well, don't I like be mean Brandon. To I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nobody funny. likes Brandon. We don't have to lie about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Brandon's great, guys. Please stop bullying him. Please stop hurting his feelings. It's a, we don't want to get blamed for it anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, fuck. just don't do it. Um, yeah, it is funny. But internet hate is hilarious. How much hate did Adam get? Any, any nice hate for Adam? Oh, this is funny, actually. Someone we, got we, mad that we... Someone I got called... mad at Adam because uh, we, like just some random person was just like, hey... Like the show, but I gotta say, like, not too happy about, like, you know, on the most recent episode when you uh, sexualized the teenage girl. And I was like, what? what? And it was when we were talking about uh, Popcorn's popcorn. girlfriend. We were, about, <laughs> we were talking about Instagram savage and legend popcorn. And, like, we were, I was making the point that, like, he's this sort of, like, goofy, like, he's like this sort of fat, curly hair white kid. Who like thinks he's like a rapper, but like on his Instagram, like he is like hooking up with like hot women, and I didn't yeah. really for a high school kid for a high yeah. school kid. popcorn, yeah. Yeah, I love, for you. I love the spectrum of like shows. You can't you have, say that they're hot have, though. If you have Chapo on one end, and then I did Legion of Skanks the other night, where Lewis brought a homeless man onto the podcast, tried to steal his cocaine, and tried to put his false teeth in his mouth. <laughs> God, and he's like, "Just give me the fucking teeth, dude." <laughs> Jesus, me, dude, that dude. is so dude, fucking that's, disgusting. That's so yeah, bad. Can you imagine? That's like, insanely <laughs> gross. He's doing that just voluntarily for not even a great laugh, probably yeah, just no. for like. I mean, I'm still laughing. About <laughs> Yeah. I think it's pretty funny. What do you literally put the the and teeth then people in his getting mouth? mad about saying that popcorn's girlfriend is hot? Yeah, <laughs> like sec- like if we said, oh, dude, like, I'm just, I want to fuck pop's fuck girlfriend fuck, yeah, because yeah, yeah. she's sixteen. You know, yeah. we didn't say we wanted, exactly. We didn't say yeah. we wanted to fuck her. We just said he did all right for a fat, chubby, curly head. You know, uh, Kentucky white Good boy. Good for him, man. Yeah, whatever. Shouts out to Popcorn. Yeah, no. I'm not going to apologize no, for sexualizing. No, I didn't apologize. No, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, popcorn is uh, white Latarian Milton. Of course, yeah. I love Latarian. Latarian's gotten his life together. I know. And Which is not surprising. Pop I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> if you G out that hard as a fucking eight-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got to get the, the hood shit out of your system <laughs> early. <Yeah. laughs> so, you know, Where the fuck else is he going to go except Harvard? Yeah. 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 That's you know? why, like I said, I'm glad, uh, sort of glad Pop uh, did his home invasion. Invasion and assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> yeah. Was seventeen. Yeah, he'd waited a little bit longer. What his shit would have been a lot. He would have gone to adult him. prison, yeah. and yeah. they would have not liked his rapping. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. fucking Latarian was so hard as an eight-year-old. Like Obama would have never. If it was Latarian, Obama would have never said. If I, if had I had a son, it would have never happened with Latarian. He'd look like, he'd like I don't know Latarian. Like I've never met Latarian. I don't know who Latarian is. <laughs> Please do not compare me to that boy. <laughs> The boy beat up his grandmother for chicken wings. <laughs> God, he was awesome. What does he do? He stole, he stole a car. He stole a car. Dude, he stole a car. He stole his grandma's friends. car, smashing it because he couldn't see above the dashboard. 
because his friend came over and his friend was smoking cigarettes. <laughs> and he and smoked they with cigarettes. He smoked with the cigarettes. And, and he smoked with cigarettes. Because I want to do hood rat shit with my friend. <laughs> I want to do hood rat stuff with my friend. Dude, that's the kind of... <laughs> so cool. That's what fucking unbridled childhood freedom looks like. In a perfect world, every boy would be able to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. We need a holodeck for boys. <laughs> yeah. so Bring it in all full circle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and that'll be it. This yeah. is the, ho- the holodeck for boys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, right. Big Dick Billy. Yeah, you got anything you want to plug? Uh, uh, no, no, just uh, always a pleasure. Uh, yeah. Any day without cum is a waste of money. <laughs> That's right. right. That's uh, right, brother. Yeah, Chapo Trap House. I'm sure there's a lot of overlap anyways, but if you don't listen, check it out. It's great. Uh, you guys are fun. Thanks. Cheers.